What is going on, YouTube? Uh, today, a uh, pretty serious video. Uh, of course, uh, everybody already knows uh, there was another school shooting, uh, this time in Uvalde, Texas, uh, which is pretty much in like the southwest uh, part of Texas. Uh, 21 people were murdered, uh, 19 children, I believe all of them were under the age of 10. Uh, don't quote me on that, but they all look pretty young, and uh, two uh, adults. Uh, you had some uh, Richard Ramirez looking piece of filth uh, going in there and uh, killing people. I don't know, it said that he was in there for up to an hour, I don't know. Uh, who knows why he did this? Uh, who knows why anybody does anything? Uh, we have school shootings that have become pretty much a semi-common occurrence to the point now where I'm just kind of like, what am I supposed to do? Say the same boilerplate nonsense everybody else says? You know, it's terrible. I don't have children. That does not mean that I don't have empathy for these uh, people who lost their uh, kids who will never see again. You send your kid off to school to learn to uh, interact with others, to learn to be a good person. You don't send your kids to school uh, to die. Uh, now, uh, in the coming days and weeks, we will probably get some kind of information on why this uh, this uh, murdering filth bag did this. But has it, you know, is it even important on why he did this? I mean, why does anybody do anything? And then you have a lot of people, uh, particularly on the left, uh, who are. Uh, pretending to be mad or maybe they're actually mad uh you have the uh nba uh basketball coach uh, steve kerr uh, slamming his fist down on the table what is this going to stop what is this going to end you have beta o'rourke who's running for the governor of texas who uh in my opinion has a pretty good chance because you got so many uh dumb liberals moving to texas it's pretty much a uh uh, a purple state and I do believe that Texas is going to go back to being a blue state like it was in the 60s and the 50s so you have these clowns, you have Jimmy Kimmel crying on TV, boo hoo wah ha, he cries about everything apparently, I'm not saying that this massacre was not sad, I'm not saying this at all, but this video is not in particular about what happened, this is about my opinion on the gun debate and having to do with gun control now, you have everybody on the left saying, oh, we need gun control, we need gun control. Okay. Uh, me personally, I am a proponent of some form of gun control being like a background check, for instance. Um, I feel that anybody uh, should, ha everybody should have to be 21 years old to buy a, uh, a weapon. That's just, that's just me. I feel that everybody should have to have some kind of background check in terms of like, was there any kind of mental illness in the background? Was there any kind of um, stays at a uh, mental hospital? I think if you, I think if you had a stay at a mental hospital, uh, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and just say I don't think you should own a weapon. Um, that's just me personally. But I'm still, it's still uh, when it comes to that one, I'm just not quite sure. But uh, yeah, if there's like definitely you've had like. You know, run-ins with the police where you've been in jail or you've been 51 50 or you're, you're whatever, you're, you're nuts. Yeah, you should not be able to own a firearm. But uh, let me tell you why the uh, Republicans, people on the right, the GOP, the NRA, let me tell you why they will not relinquish any kind of um, of uh, making uh, or uh, of uh, allowing the Democrats to make new laws for some kind of gun control. There is, when it comes to gun control, there is... There, there's no discussion about it on the table. There, there will not be a meeting of the minds between the left and the right to come to an agreement. And there, in my opinion, I don't think there ever will be anytime soon. And the reason why is because, well, uh, the best example that I can give you is uh, gay people, the, the, the you know gays, the gay, the Borg. Uh, now you're probably saying to me, well, why are you equating being gay and the gay movement or gay agenda, whatever you want to call it, with a horrible school shooting. First of all, I'm not saying that gay people have anything to do with uh, what happened in Uvalde, uh, but I'll tell you like this. Uh, there was a long time ago 
when uh, you know you, you were gay and you kind of kept it to yourself, every even though people already knew you were gay, and you ah uh, sirens, sirens, sirens. Did you know that there's more murders here uh, right now? Twice as more, uh, twice as many murders here in Houston than there is in Los Angeles. Fun fact. Anyways, uh, moving along. So, there was a time when you were gay and you were in the closet. And everybody everybody already knew you were gay. And gay people started saying, like, oh, uh, we want to be recognized how, like how a husband and wife are recognized. When it comes to, like, beneficiaries on their life insurance uh, when it comes to benefits for their their partner at their job uh, stuff like that and they they you know talked about it they fought about it for years and then finally they came to an agreement okay we'll have civil unions okay very good we have civil unions now but that wasn't enough that's just a start that's just them getting a wedge into this whole thing uh, next thing is, uh, well, okay, yeah, civil unions, but uh, we want to get married. We want to be recognized as a married couple, just like a man and a woman. I'm a man, I love this man, and we're married just like you're married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, me personally, I don't care what you clowns do. You do whatever it is that you want to do. It's none of my business how you live your life. You being married has no factor on what I'm doing with myself. If you want to make your life miserable, go right ahead. So you have people now, gays, getting married. Okay, cool. And then uh, this thing called transgender uh, came about. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a man, but I'm really a woman born in a man's body, but I'm a woman, and I don't identify with either or. Or maybe I'm a cat. I don't know. Okay, so you have some people with some form of mental illness in a lot of cases, which in my opinion, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, and then they started coming up with terms for this, uh, uh, like gender dysphoria. Uh, you got this and that, right? Okay, all right. So now you have people wanting to be accepted into normal society. You have a, a, a guy who has worked at a, uh, at a you know, Home Depot for five years. Next day he comes in, uh, his name was Jose, now it's uh, Joanna or whatever. And people are expected to say like, oh, okay, yeah. We're expected to accept this insanity, right? Okay, cool. All right, so you have that, right? Now you got trans rights lg and then you're, we're getting the letters lgbtq and then it seems like every other week another letter is being added to this alphabet group okay cool uh but we're not gonna stop there no why would we stop there no we're going to keep on continuing to go with this uh you know listen uh i'm 15 and uh, I'm gay and I want to be able to change my sex, okay? Well, you can't buy a pack of cigarettes or can't drink a beer, but you can change your sex. So, so you went from civil union, like we only want a civil union. That's it, that's it guys, that's all we want. So you went from that to now five-year-olds, six-year-olds are being indoctrinated with this weird sex cult. And now we're talking about giving eight-year-olds puberty blockers uh you're really stupid when you're eight you're not particularly intelligent you don't know anything you're dumb i mean now i will say eight-year-olds are a lot smarter than when i was an eight-year-old but that's because of the internet you got a lot of information readily available to you so you go from civil union to uh drag kid 11 year old drag kid uh being uh on stage and it being like applauded him a, a, a 10 year old 11 year old boy sexualizing himself and then you go from that to uh, you know what basically what is after that what i'm saying is this when it comes to any side of an argument there is no there is no end to it it does not end it just does not okay so if the if the gop if they say okay We'll, we'll start doing the mental health checks. The, the, 
it does not stop there. Because when you do that, the next thing up for debate is, okay, why, why do we have rifles, or as the left calls them, assault rifles, right? Oh, uh, uh, an assault rifle, and then you got a 30-round clip, and it, so, first of all, they would ban, like, all these, like, 90-round clips, these drum magazines, whatever, they're all banned, they're all gone. Next thing you know, you can only have uh, 10-round clips, right? Next thing you know, you can only have a 5-round clip. Next thing you know, they ban 9 millimeters. Next thing you know, all guns are banned. That's what they want. They want all guns off the streets. The problem isn't with uh, legally responsible gun owners. The problem is, is with Ray Ray in Chicago uh, shooting up the street and killing three people. Uh, you got a lot of gun violence. Nobody is still not talking about the problems in Chicago the problems in Detroit, uh, the problems in a lot of uh, inner city uh, communities of all colors, uh, particularly, uh, you know, Latino and black. I mean, I, I don't know of many inner city white neighborhoods where there's like some kind of a, 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 a super bad gang problem. It's just not a, it's not really a thing. I'm not saying there's not white gangs, but I mean, come on. All you got to do is look at, that, at the percentage of the population of who's what race and who's doing all the killing. Come on, let's not be stupid. Basically what I'm trying to say is you cannot relinquish any uh, of your control when it comes to guns to the other side because if you do, next thing you know, uh, you're sleeping in your home at 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, Jeff, uh, strung out on meth, comes in uh, with, a, with a machete in one hand and a rifle in the other and you go to shoot at him, but uh, you know, you fired all your three shots. See, because they banned all the guns, you were only legally allowed to have a three shot revolver in your home. And next thing you know, you're getting uh, hacked to death, your head's cut off, and then your wife is gonna be uh, brutally raped and murdered. So it's up to you guys what you wanna think about it. But uh, at the end of the day, that's the reason why there will be no gun control because you Looney Tunes on the left, can't just stop at one thing, you have to take everything to the extreme.